So I'm Sarah Goodale and I'm a research assistant for Dr. Englot in the BN lab. So one of the projects we have going on is stereo EEG, and that's when Dr. Englot will implant electrodes into the brain of epilepsy patients to record the brain activity that's happening. And so he'll basically create this before the surgery and then put the electrodes through these holes while he's actually performing the surgery, kind of a better way to direct them so they know where they're going. And then once those are in, the patient will be in the hospital for anywhere from one to two weeks. And that's when we will go to the hospital and look at the brain activity. So this project basically is a way for the doctor to put something inside the brain to read what's happening. There's a lot of imaging tools that look at the outside of the brain, but it's hard to actually get inside of it and see what's happening. And so this project's basically trying to figure out how, what is the brain telling us when you stick something inside of it and you can get in those like really deep center areas of the brain. Because a lot of times like you'll see if somebody has a seizure, they may go unconscious, they may not remember. So that's, all, that's other areas of the brain that are getting affected by this, this activity. So if we know that it starts in like the hippocampus or the amygdala, how is it, how is it going across the brain and making the body move, making the body shut down? How is it affecting the person as a whole rather than just that one individual spot in the brain? And that's the area that we're kind of exploring that hasn't really been touched yet. As an undergrad, I came from just kind of across five minutes away on campus in Dr. Miga's lab. and. Being able to kind of move over here and be so immersed clinically in the research is, is very cool because we get to go see the patients in the EMU, we get to go, we get to recruit the patients to do an fMRI study, and so I'm constantly interacting with patients and really getting a sense of how much this affects them and how happy they are that somebody's actually looking at this, which is really cool. And I think that's one of the things that makes it most rewarding is when you get to talk to these patients and they're so excited that they're seizure free and they're so willing to help us out because they want us to be able to make things work for other people. So I think that's probably one of the coolest things to be able to work, especially in like a, in a VISE affiliated lab because it's really it really is that integration between surgery and engineering. And you're basically, as an engineer, you're getting to look in, a look in that clinical side that you wouldn't normally get and the collaboration that Vanderbilt has with the hospital is just, it's unmatched, so that's really cool.